Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, got a brew. Uh, so there's a couple 5-1 lists from Channel Fireball that were playing Doom Foretold either in like a creature enchantment based shell or uh, an Abzan version, so green, black, white. Um, kind of mushed them together. Uh, I love Doom Foretold. We went to Mythic Top 1200 with it, with the Esper version, more of a control version. Um, so this one here is... I'm calling it Calyx Doom Foretold. It's effectively a black-white Doom Foretold list with Calyx in here. Um, so Calyx is a green-white Planeswalker. Plus one, look at the top four cards of your library, reveal an enchantment from among them, put that card into your hand. Pretty much getting all of the cards in our deck other than lands. Um, for minus three, you can exile target creature enchantment you don't control until target enchantment. So basically you, you hide their thing, you exile it under one of your enchantments. And then for minus seven, you can uh, replenish the card, replenish the effect, bring everything back from the, all the enchantments from your graveyard to the battlefield. So what we kind of have in the mix here, we have uh, the package of Ephemia and Timeret Calls of the Dead, where we, if we can exile enchantments from our graveyard to create zombies. So you could create a bunch of tokens like that. Um, you have Birth of Melites as a saga that goes into the graveyard. Meyer's Grasp is removal. That's an enchantment that goes into the graveyard. Uh, then you have Treacherous Blessings to draw us cards. Uh, you have Final Payment and both Doom Foretold as ways to get rid of the Treacherous Blessing. Final Payment is two mana, destroy creature, uh, by either, and you have to either pay five life or sack a uh, creature or a planeswalker you control, so it's a way to get off the Treacherous Blessing. Um, so we have the Sagas that go into the graveyard to feed these. Four Othakayas, which is burn and removal and life gain. And when we get multiples, they go into the graveyard because they're legendary. Doom Foretold, for those who aren't familiar, at the beginning of your upkeep, you sacrifice each player sacrifices a permanent they control, non-token. And then uh, if your opponent can't sack, then they discard a card, lose two life, you gain two life, and then get a 2-2 knight. Uh, because we're pretty much an enchantment shell, we have Arkin of Sun's Grace to make more uh, tokens. And then we have Cavalier on the top end with Elspeth Conquer's death. Uh, so Cavalier can... Uh, destroy stuff of your opponents, but also destroy your own, so it's another way to get Treacherous Blessing off. Uh, whichever controller's permanent gets destroyed, they get a 3-3. But when Cavalier dies, you could bring back Elspeth Conquer's Death, and then Elspeth Conquer's Death could reanimate Cavalier, which then kind of gets you like a pseudo loop. Uh, mana base wise is pretty simple. We got one of each castle. I got eight Shocklands, so I want to see if that's enough green. Uh, one of the things we want to see at these games is, are we kind of diluting our mana base and taking unnecessary damage uh, to be able to cast Calyx. Sideboard wise, we do have a couple other green cards in Knight of Autumn. I have a couple Kaya's Wrath for like go wide decks uh, just to catch up. Kaya or Zavid Serper to exile opponent's stuff in the graveyard, getting rid of uh, any of the escape threats. Four Agonizing Remorse and then four Deadweight, uh, another just early removal spell uh, that can serve as an enchantment. Um, so it's pretty standard, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing I might... Yeah, let's try it out like this. I might want some Noxious Grasps or uh, Devout Decrees. But we'll... You know what? Let's just make that one change. I want Devout Decree. At least one. Exiling's relevant. Um, so let's play that. So we're in Mythic right now, 95. Don't care about the top 1200 this month, just because it's just the Mythic Points Championship. You just get Mythic Points, you don't get to the invite. Um, but let's play it and see how it goes. As always, if you're catching this on YouTube or live on Twitch, if you do enjoy the content, if you can, uh, if you could like, comment, or subscribe on YouTube, or follow on Twitch, all are free and easy ways to help out the channel. It's greatly appreciated if you can. Um, trying to get out as much content in this time of uh, self-isolation as possible to keep you entertained, and it would go a long way to helping out. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. It's a good kind of just make a bunch of zombies go from there. Playing Sapau 978 on the ladder. So this is likely gonna be um, Rakdos Sacrifice.
I'm gonna go timer at this turn. I gotta be mindful to, at least with my old uh, Esper Doom, going to time was something that was potential. So I wanna be cautious of that. Yeah, so they have Priest. Um, so let's see, I wanna go, yeah, I think we go timer it here. Get rid of Bertha Melides. The reason being is this will create a zombie that I can use for Arkin, Sons of Arkin's Grace. Uh, I'm going to want to get this priest off the battlefield. It's one of the few ways they could answer Arkin in the main board. Okay, so downside here is they do get to draw a card. But I think we just go, because even if they sack two, we sack two if they go Midnight Reaper, but that's their whole turn. They won't be able to cast. They would need like a one drop in like Cat, sack both of them. So it's two sacks. We sack one. That's three. That's not enough damage to get rid of Sun's Arkin's Grace. Arkin of Sun's Grace. I don't know why I'm going reverse on the name. Opponent's taking their time. If you are interested in the Rakdos deck, I did do a budget build series on it, so did uh, binning both Calyx kind of sucks. They make us sack anyways, I'm sacking this one. And let's just jam this now. We gain some life this turn with the zombies. If they force us to sack, I sack that zombie anyways. Okay, so they have Woe Strider and Cauldron Familiar. So we gain some life here and do get to set up a scry. The one thing here is uh, with Othakaya, they can force to sack, like force us to sack. They only have one card in graveyard. So I think what we do this turn, so we go Bertha Melides, Othakaya on the Priest. Um, this honestly doesn't matter because we're gonna shuffle for this anyways. So we get the Pegasus. because I want to exile this the following turn. So, actually, I'm surprised I didn't do the sack there. They wouldn't have lost, we wouldn't have gained the life. Um, I can be aggressive here. We're pretty far ahead. So like, unlike the Esper Doom, we're a lot more of a mid-range, turn creatures sideways kind of deck. Even if they Croxa here, we just get rid of this Oath. And then we can get a token here. This will go into the graveyard for Timoret, which is also nice. And 
Mavericks, Madi Revler. Sorry if anyone's trying to touch base in chat. The Streamlabs is trying to connect right now, so I just don't want to reset it right now. So, fortunately can't see your messages right now. What I'll do is uh, between, like before the next match, I'll just restart it and then we can have it going again. It's going very slow here. So I'm going to get rid of the Woe Strider. If that's what lets them sacrifice. It can't sacrifice itself, so there's some utility there. And then we have this backup one to hit the Mayhem Devil. Basically grinded him out there. Uh, so in this matchup, Kaya's good. The dead weights seem reasonable. And then Knight of Autumn. Okay, so Doom Foretold's bad in this matchup. Elspeth Conquers Death is fine. Cavalier is another way to deal. Because the thing is, they only have Oven. So, let's see what we're. Oh, I hate how they do that now. Uh, card to cut. Probably the Treacherous Blessings as well. They seem a little bit of a liability here. So, I could bring in two cards. Probably just the knights. Seem to hit our colors there fine. Enough incidental life gain as well. Still have a lot of enchantments or creatures for the final payment. No, maybe cut one final payment, pay one Kaya's Wrath, just as a, if we need to, it's a way to catch up. Let's run it like that. I don't like Devout Decree as much in this matchup, or, yeah, um, most of their decks black, actually, I'm confusing the card, that card should have come in, so we'll make that change, that was a mistake on my part. I was thinking Noxious Grasp, I usually don't bring in Noxious Grasp in this matchup. Keep this hand, so we go Melides, and then we have double Othakaya's removal, so it's a pretty removal heavy hand. We want to find the clock now. Arkin is that clock. Wonder if they cut the priests in this matchup. We showed a lot of tokens, so I don't think they're gonna necessarily make us sack what they we want. Opponent's playing very slow. No, nope. they kept it in the priest. So I'm going to Othakaya this on our turn. If they Croxel, discard Godless Shrine. I think it's important to keep the priest off the battlefield.
Okay, well, they have the line of Midnight Reaper into Priest again. So, they'll get their one card draw. This will gain us some life as well. This will do a decent job blocking. So go Tomb this turn, play Arkin, drop a Gala Shrine, play Elspeth Conquers, exile the Reaper. Okay, they have Oven. Ooh, so of note, when the Sagas go in the graveyard, we take a point of damage. Um, do I want to just get this off the battlefield? Let them untap. Yeah, I think that's fine, because I have Conquer's Death to get it back anyways. And I have this as a blocker. They play Cat, they Sack Cat, they, they get it back, it's only 2 damage, so as long as I don't block, we're okay. We're at 21 life, so we're at a, a reasonable life total. And then I'll probably go Elspeth this turn so that I can timer it and Othakaya the following turn. Okay, so they have Noxious Grasp, something to be mindful of. block here if they want to sacrifice the midnight reaper to get that oh they have cat so they could sack cat now which is fine because i'm gonna conquer's death here and they have priest well, that's a good draw So Conqueror's Death lets me exile the Mayhem Devil here. They can't um, sacrifice it to the oven. They can get the cap back to deal an extra point of damage to us. Taking six more minutes than us. So I'm going to go dead weight first on the Midnight Reaper. And then Othakaya. Gutter Bones as well, and Rex Mati. So that lets them refill their hand. I'm surprised they're doing that now, because this lets us gain the life. We also have double Othakaya.
Jeez. Every trigger there making us go through these motions. Again, for those who are in chat, apologies. So doing this now. You know what, I should have done priest first. Okay, I let that die. We'll gain three life here, it takes us to 12. They can sack these, they can also bring back the cat, sack it. So I'm surprised that they were doing the cat on uh, on their turn. They would have been able to prevent this damage. How did they sac sacrifice two other creatures? Oh yeah, because it deals two damage to us. So we're gonna take two here. We have the point from the cat coming in as well. But next turn, I can gain some life. So they are going pretty wide here. They are tapped out. So we get a token here. Token has life link. And then I'm gonna go face with this because they can sack and then I don't gain the life. I want to gain the life here to put us up to seven. We shouldn't give uh, cat players this much time. Taking nearly 10 more minutes than us. Get rid of Bertha Melides. Brings us back up to seven. Even if they have a noxious grasp here. I have a decent board state. Hopefully they don't. Interesting, they sacked, but they didn't bring the cat back. Okay, so they have double oven here and they have mayhem devil. So they are going to be able to machine, oh they're just going to go face, yeah. Got to tweak this up a bit. So Devout Decree definitely comes in. Um, they brought in the Noxious Grasp, so Cavalier is probably too slow.
probably just want the other Kaya's Wrath in this matchup. I could bring in the other Knight. I think we just bring in the other Wrath. We have a ton of removal for their stuff. You know what? Let's, let's bring in the Knight. Seems more flexible, gains some life as well. Being on the play will help. I think this game, if we have to, we prioritize taking Midnight Reaper off the board as opposed to Priest. Keep this hand. So I can dead weight if they have a play on two. Honestly, with this hand, I just want to draw into a Calyx. We have answers for their first three threats. Timerette's actually very good. I could Timerette next turn and then Othakaya. Because then on chapter 3, I can sack it to final payment. I might have maybe should have just let them play out that. Sorry about that. Arena crashed and it went through our hand. Our return is very annoying. Um, I need to so I can timer it next turn. No, I forgot this doesn't do Planeswalkers. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I messed that up. Ah, uh, now we're going to lose this one. That was silly. So Arena crashed. We missed our turn, and then it just kind of played us at a sequence, and now we're going to lose this one. And we unnecessarily took five damage. And they have the oven here. They can get cat back. We're doing that now. It's actually not bad because I can go Myers Grasp this turn. Play a tap land. I'm going to keep the dead weight because I get to play Arkin and dead weight next turn. And then that means I don't take this damage. Okay, so they make a sack there. And they have gutter bones. We don't gain any life. Um, here. I'm just going to force them to get this. This is more damage. They can sack it if they want.
So I kind of regret. So we'll attack there. To be honest, I might just do this. Deal three and then gain five. Okay, they got Noxious Grasp. So I'm blocking here because this can deal a point of damage and I want this to kill the Tybalt. Calyx is great. So the nice thing with Calyx is I can exile something underneath it. And then Othakai is going to be hard for a Rakdos deck to be able to take it off. And if they get cheeky with this, okay, so they have Mayhem Devil. Gonna want to put this underneath the Calyx. So they can sack it. See where they deal the damage to here. Okay, they just go face. Speeds up the clock quite a bit. Can't afford to attack here. Okay, so we're just dead. Arena crapping out there and making us miss our turn, cost us that game. I do like this deck. Let's fire it up for another one. Disappointed there. Let me give Arena a reset so it doesn't crap out again. We have to play a turn behind there. We missed the turn. We should have had Ephemia out, and then we would have had something to attack Tybalt with. Let's fire it up again. I've liked... This one's felt a little bit more proactive, just in terms of uh, running things through. Joel, 1993. Uh, sure. Just run it like that. Just need to draw land. Probably an opt. Oh, is this flash? I think we just need lands. Interesting. Uh, just to enter this tapped. What do they have? Okay, so it's definitely flash. They're gonna have a counter spell here. Okay, so they're holding up the spew on one. Teamerek, Teamer Flash, Teamerek. Let's 
just run things out there. Getting hit by these disputes really feels bad. Then they're going to Uro. And they have Frilled Mystic. We missed too many land drops, they have it going. Um, this is an Agonizing Remorse in matchup, and Knight of Autumns. Probably a couple Kayas as well. Myers Grasp is bad. Cavaliers are okay. Are they? Seems like we're never gonna get a Cavalier off. These Othakaya is also pretty bad. Probably cut a Treacherous Blessing. Run it like this. Hand was a little weird. It was good against like a creature based deck, like curving out, like if that was the Rakdos deck. But um, them not really playing anything, we didn't have an answer. Uh, let's keep this. We could go Temple on one. Femia is great on two. It can present a clock, and if need be, it's something I could sack. So that's probably Growth Spiral. Let's just get this into play tapped. So they probably brought out, like, took out the disputes against us. They might still have Frilled Mystic, which would be a pain. Okay, so they got Wreck. Attack first, see what they do. Super excited to get countered here. Okay, the growth spiral. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. Next turn, I can hold up both Treacherous Blessing and... Okay, so they have Remorse. It's attacking with both. Let's go uh, Agonizing Remorse here. Okay. Take Frilled Mystic, gets that out of the way. The reason you attack first is because they could have got the block with Frilled Mystic. I'm gonna refill my hand here. Okay, so they have Uro. Draws them a card. We draw another land. Clothis. That's interesting.
what are the chances they have a counter spell? No counter, no counter, no counter. Fuck. They have enough to get Uro back too. Another card. Okay, they're down again to one card in hand. So I think what we do here play this out. I'm taking some damage now, I know. They had the negate as well. So let's kill Uro, sack this. Get some more damage in. Just exile Doom. It's gonna get exiled by this anyways. Now they're top decking versus us. We have Conquer's Death that I can get rid of Clothis probably at this point. Thassa's Intervention. Try to race us. They are. I think we need to get Clothis off the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. That lets me get Wreck off the table. Then I could. Follow it up. What do I have in the graveyard? Nothing right now. So this lets me take Wreck off, and then I could Ephemia and exile my Ephemia. Because they have six damage, they have three in the air. So let me attack first. They're gonna flash in the Brazen Borrower probably. I can take the block there, that's fine. So take this off the battlefield, play out another Ephemia. Exile Ephemia. I can trade here. That gives him enough though for Uro. I think we do this. 
and then just try to race them. So I'm going to scry here. I think we keep t Timurit on top. So they have the counter. So we had to get Clothis off there. Did they have the burn? They have explosion. Doesn't matter. Counter spell is proven to be an issue. We maybe want to tweak this. I could put Destiny Spinner in the sideboard. Let's try. Try it like that. Let me give Arena a reset. We'll run one more. quite a few flash variant decks going around that game one was kind of nonsense though just getting hit by multiple mystical disputes in our deck that's not blue let's play one more I like the concept of this deck we're just not getting uh all the pieces together Sockasaurus, play first. Decent hand. Just want to find a land here. Perfect. Okay, so they have oven. It's Rakdos sacrifice again, so we can see how this game goes. So the double oven draw, no cat. That does bode well for us. Hitting three lands does not. Okay, so they have Woe Strider. Kind of wanted one of those Oath Kai's. That would have been actually really good right now. Um, gonna go Calyx here and then just dig for some stuff. Because next turn I can Treacherous Blessing and uh, Final Payment. We got a Reader on our hands. Grab a Sephemia. Actually, Ephemia is pretty solid right now, too. Because I can exile something under Ephemia as removal. Well, that's not cool. So here they can poke into Calyx for one, or for three, and then deal another point of damage. We don't get any scry because they killed their zombos. It's fine. See if we find like Myers Grasp or something. Um, these Conquer's deaths are probably reasonable. So 
So, so I play this, shock, play this, then I'm at one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have to discard. Do I just take five? Feels pretty bad. Actually, I can do that on their upkeep because I get a to uh, token. Get rid of timer at here. Stupid. So it timed us out because it crashed, and now I can't do what I wanted to do. Why aren't you letting me respond? I'm just gonna quit this match, start up another one. That's really annoying. What we wanted to do there was respond to the uh, Mire Trident coming in by sacking Ephemia. They would have had a trigger on the stack, um, but it would have been a way to deal some damage. Let's fire this up again. And then also once it have resolved, we should have had a response to the second Murderous Rider being cast. So kind of annoying little sequence there. Should have been able to respond there. Gonna mulligan this hand. Yikes. We'll keep this one. Don't think we're gonna get better. We have a scry on one, and then Calyx at the very least should find something. Rena may need to take a break today. Opponent. Is this us or is it them? Put the Godless Shrine back. They got their Sword of Fire and Ice sleeves. Multi five. Okay, their Fires deck. Doom Foretold generally is pretty good against Fires. Um, forcing them to sack their fires is relevant. You want to find some action in these early turns. So up against Jeskai fires. Femia is nice, gives us something on two to do. Now we can get stomped. And that is a very real potential threat. We'll go Temple Guard and tap this turn. Ideally, we draw a three drop enchantment. Okay, so nothing to play there. More land is not what we wanted. Can confirm. Come on, opponent. I'm not sure if it's just the client for everyone that's been light, like really glitchy.
Use two more minutes. So this can be like a Teferi. Bounce. Gets the cycle for them. Untapped Doom Foretold would be really sweet. Actually, that's also a very good draw. For whatever creature they play, I can put it under the Ephemia for now. Treacherous Blessing is nice. Um, so next turn, I can exile the Conqueror's Death, so we'll just get the Treacherous Blessings this turn. I imagine their turns fires Sphinx of Foresight. Okay, they have fires. No plus on to fairy. Don't worry, I got this. So here. Gonna go Conquer's Death, get rid of the fires. And I'm just gonna do this now because it delays them from being able to attack into Calyx. Like they're gonna get it back, but when they get it back, I'll likely have something in the graveyard. They can bounce this if they want, but then they reset it for me. Their mana is pretty bad, so they could cast Blue Cavalier this turn. Main board. Aethergust. Yep. Let's put that on top. Um so mana wise, one, two, three, four, five. So I can go treacherous blessing this turn, I think. I think I'm okay just taking five damage. Actually, I have this to make a zombie. They could bounce with a Femia. They hit me for four this turn. It's not the end. Let's go. Make it so they don't get any good targets to bounce with Teferi. Oh wait, shit, that gets rid of our Calyx. Crap. It's not what it... I'm overthinking things now. Just pay five life here. Because that was going to be my... I just misplayed this really bad. Because that was my answer to get Treacherous Besting up. Ah, oh, that was... Compounded misplays. Too much magic today. No, I am not making this up as I go. So we're going to attack Teferi here. Arkin's nice. So we'll see, they might have Clarion here. Let's get rid of the Othakaya. So I'm going to attack the fairy first. Don't make another move. 
This could be Shatter the Sky. Honestly, I'm just going to do this. And then pass the turn. If this is Shatter, then... So they have Sphinx. So we'll gain some life. So let's play this out. That gets me Pegasus. Also gets me Conquer's Death, so I'm going to do this. I think I want to ferry off the battlefield. And then we just present lethal on our opponent, or near lethal. I have Conqueror's Death to get rid of a block or two if they have one. That's 12, 14. Okay, they have Clarions. I have double Clarion. Okay. Well, that was a nice follow up for sure. Just have that enter tapped. I have an answer for any of their threats. And then if this dies, I have the castle going. So we punted a bit, but don't think we're going to get punished for it. Just make a token. We got lethal on them. So that's six plus the Othakaya will be lethal on them. Got him. Gotcha. Cool. So, redeemed. Not the best play there, but we'll take it. Um, probably just want these knights. Myers Grasp, not very good otherwise. Othakaya could come out. Maybe we just get rid of all the oaths. They have like four fours and stuff, so. Bring in these. Like the only thing this does is get rid of Teferi, but I'm not really concerned too much with Teferi. Cut down a Blessings on the play, bringing another Remorse. Run it back. We do dilute ourselves a bit. 
from an enchantment standpoint, but I think we're okay. Keep this hand. So they kept their hand and they have Sphinx. Temple's actually decent. Get rid of the extra lands. Well, we've been drawing a lot of those lands. Well, Doom Foretold is great. That gets them to sack if they have fires. Get rid of this birth of Milides. All right, so we could go Doom this turn, forces them to sack some stuff, and then I could follow it up with. Oh, Conquer's Death is nice as a follow-up, too. Get rid of the timer at. So they get a Scry. They can play out two things this turn. They lose their Sphinx. To fairy bounce my doom foretold. They're smart, they bounce timer it. Nope, they bounce that. If they bounce timer it, then I have to sack my doom foretold, which gets it out of the way. Okay, so they do like a setup turn there. Now I can get the fires off the battlefield. They did miss a land drop, which is relevant. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. I can get Cavalier back next turn. Or I could get this Doom going. I think I just get Doom going. Forces this Teferi off the battlefield. I want to play this out when I get a 7th land so I can get an extra spell. So I can go Ark in here. Get a Pegasus. And then we have Remorse as well. Interesting, they bought, brought these in against us. I guess they saw the Ephemias in game one. Sick. Grinded them out and then was able to take them out. So much better showing with the deck there. I'm gonna keep playing around with this version offline see how it goes see what tweaks we can make i like the shell of it just got to figure out some of the numbers i think we want a high these final payments were okay but i think we want to maybe cut one put another myers grasp in maybe some dead weights main instead i uh, just kind of have a little bit more removal based package but generally liked what it was doing. We consistently hit our green, which is also something of note. 
Um, I'm going to wrap this one up. We went for about an hour for the full stream. Uh, if you missed any part, I'll have this up on YouTube. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and have a great one.